<laughs> nice. Nice. Elk hide down. <laughs> Hair. One of our most sought after products. Moose, deer, elk. We probably have about the best quality in the world. And we're gonna show you why. Whether you're using it for screamers, divers, mice, cripples, dry flies, there's a process it takes to get you that really good piece of hair. And in this video, we're gonna show it to you. And that's gonna start off a little gruesome. So let's get down to it with collection. All right. And this is what Thomas does when we get a load in. Just starts hucking hides around. Cutting off all the stuff that we're not going to use. That elk's done, and that's the pile he still has to do. Collection process there has got to be the most painful of all the processes. We actually have to go out and collect hides from anywhere we can possibly get them. And that also means sorting them before we even buy them. Checking quality to make sure it's what we want. And then we got to trim it, and then we got to flesh it, and then we got to salt it. And it's a lot of work. It's done outside. And it can be snowing, it can be bloody, and it can be messy. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, we cleaned that U haul thoroughly. They were impressed. Once we get that all done, it then goes to the tannery, which then comes back to us and enters here, the hide room. The hide room is, well, exactly what it is, the hide room. Once we get them, we have to start mapping it. And that's very important because hair is hair. Even animals have cowlicks. We gotta make sure the directions go in the proper way. And so it's not curved, it's not cowlicky, it's all uniform. This is a time taking process as well and again we're cutting the hides cutting hides is can be kind of difficult you're trying not to score hair you're trying to make sure everything is even and you don't want to curve any cuts it can it can be challenging Now, once each piece is cut, and we'll go through several hides at a time, we then have to sort it. And what I mean by sorting is every single category that we have from all purpose, the stimulator, hopper deer, spinning deer, comparadon, and excatus. Oh wait, I wish I did get some comparadon. Huh, all right. Each grade is different. And we'll go through that in a later video. But once the sorting's done, there is also a lot of scrap, which we also have scrap hair baits for. But this has got to be the most mentally draining process of hair. That is inspecting every single piece of hair to get every single guard hair out we possibly can. I'm dead serious, we sit here and just Pick every single guard hair out of every single piece it's cut. This is kind of how we ensure the perfection of our hair. We don't want guard hairs in our hair, we won't put them in yours. 
And we do this to every single piece after we sort it. And yes, sometimes we just go, no, we're not plucking that piece of hair. It's not gonna happen. But it has to be done. Once it's done, it looks like this. And then goes one place, the kitchen. The kitchen is our dye room. This is where we dye every single piece to make it a final finished product. Hey everyone, my name is Thomas, the owner of Nature Spirit. <laughs> Welcome to the Hyde Room. We want to thank you for watching our video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share that video so more people can see it. And please let us know what you think in the comments section below.